Good day. My name is Bill Carr. I'm the Chief Mobility Architect at the Comp Solutions Company. And today I'd like to share with you a tech tip on converting an Aruba Network's instant access point to a remote access point. We'll also be able to talk in, in detail about how to convert an instant access point to a campus AP as well as a remote AP. Let's get started. First, we're going to get started by talking a little bit about uh, instant access points and how to connect to them initially. Out of the box, an instant access point will broadcast an SSID, known as instant, which we're going to connect to. It's an open SSID. And after we connect and we obtain an IP address, within our web browser, we can actually look for this uh, URL known as instant.arubanetworks.com, and we'll then connect to the instant uh, Aruba user interface. So now that we're connected, We'll actually go through the process of logging in to our instant access point, and we'll see the virtual controller user interface. Very, very simplistic interface with the name of our access point. If there were additional access points uh, joined to the same subnet that had joined this cluster of APs, we would see them listed here. What we're going to do, though, is, is really a very simple thing. This is a remote access point three. Um, and uh, remote access point three, as well as most of the newer uh, remote access points, ship with the instant access point uh, firmware on them. If you wish to convert them to either a remote access point or a campus access point, it's very simple to do. It can be done by going through this user interface process, where we simply go to the maintenance tab and click on convert. And we would put in the name of our controller uh, to convert. Of course, it has to be spelled correctly, and we will go through the process of conversion. It's also important to note that not only do we have to uh, convert the access point if we want it to be a remote access point, but we'd also have to make sure that the MAC address of this particular access point had been whitelisted on the controller um, that we were going to terminate them on. Same would be true if we were converting to a campus access point and had control plane security enabled. In the event you were to obtain a number of instant APs, either remote AP3s, uh, IAP 108, 109s, um, any of those can actually be automatically provisioned through either Aruba Activate or using a DHCP option. Um, so that's a, another option to convert those access points. So now we're going to actually just wait a few moments. Our conversion will finish. And then uh, we'll, we'll resume and go back and actually verify that the uh, AP has been converted and was able to communicate with our controller. So now that our conversion is, is taking place and I've noticed that my instant SSID has disappeared, I logged into my controller and verified that the MAC address and uh, has been uh, whitelisted for my remote AP with its name and its group and we'll then go through the process of validating that it's up and running. So I've now gone through the process of actually verifying that uh, through the switch events uh, monitoring tab that my remote AP uh, has its internal uh, L2TP address. We see that it's warm started and has come up. We also see that there are a couple of BSSIDs that have come up. So we should be able to see those in our list now. Probably actually have to do a refresh here real quick. And there we are. We see our CSC employees, CSC ClearPass, MDAC, Apple TV. These are all additional BSSIDs that are supported by our controller. So we'll go back quickly here and uh, see that these are the SSIDs that are uh, all inclusive. And uh, there's only four that are on this particular uh, access point. So we'll go through and actually verify that. So we'll go access points. This one here, we should be able to do a quick status. There are no users on that SSID. However, we'll actually go through the process and connect. And one moment, we should be connected. Boom. So now we see that we are connected to CSC ClearPass. And I should be able to go back. Status on that AP again. And there is our station connected. Um, see me connected and with the appropriate role. 
So that's how simple it is to convert an instant AP to a remote AP. And the process to convert to a campus AP is exactly the same, with the exception of pulling down the drag down box. Um, if you'd like to know more about Aruba Activate or mechanisms that we can utilize DHCP to provision instant APs and mass, please feel free to give us a call, uh, send us an email, or visit our website at www.compsolutions.com. Thank you.